Hey guys, Cliff here. Welcome back to part two of the Da Vinci 1.5 build. In the last uh, episode, you saw the wings and tail constructed. In this episode, you're going to see the fuselage built and the wings joined, uh, and maybe a couple of little other twiddly bits. Uh, and then the next um, episode will be covering and fitting her out. So thanks for watching, and let's get on the video. Cheers, guys. Right then, having just reviewed the, a bit of video I did yesterday, the construction of the front half, um, I filmed the other camera, so all I got was the window. So, um, so I made the two front halves on the plan and then lifted them and glued them to F3. And the main longer one on the bottom, um, I glued in afterwards. Now I'll put two gussets there to try and bond the two bits together. And I'm also going to put a couple up here. Uh, it doesn't sit flat because this is curved. Um, I've got these side panels I've just uh, made, which I'm going to glue in there because I'm going to have an outer a panel on there, but I wanted a bit more meat in there to take the dowels for the wing. Hence the, hence the uh, infill. Now, the other thing I'm doing is I didn't like the transition from square to triangular. Yes, the covering would sort of pull in a bit, but it kind of looks a little bit sharp, doesn't it? So um, I've made these. This one's drying from earlier. I just steamed them around. So that one is the same as that. So this little part here, I've tuffed it there and there and on the corresponding parts there and there and that will glue on there and glue into there into there and onto there like that so that looks that will take the transition of the fabric really beautifully and um, I was going to take it all the way down but there's actually no point because this is a flat panel Jeff uh, Jeff Wiles, one of um, one of my um, channel members, uh, mentioned that he thought that this was um, what was Jeff's word? What was your words, Jeff? Sort of something to aspire to. Um, I guess it is, but at the same time, it's. Um, it's quite a simple procedure, isn't it? What I'm doing. Just notch that there, clean it up. Notch that one. Let's just offer it up a minute, see how we're going. There, squeezing out. Just studying the fuselage, I thought it might be rather fun to put a gusset on the back here to strengthen this joint. And um, there's a scrap of wood here caught my eye. Let's just take the label off. Um, I reckon that would go in there, you know, and sort of form a Gus it in there. So let's let's see that needed a little bit of sanding on the on the heel a little bit. Yeah, looks pretty good. Let's get it in there. It looks good, and it'll serve a good purpose as well. Okay, okay, there we are. Another little bit done. Gonna cut the sides. 
down to there. And I'm going to cut a base that goes all the way along. Uh, not all the way. I've got to leave a gap for undercarriage. I have to measure something up there. All right, let's go and cut that out. Trace it, offer it up, cut it, and get a couple done. I'll be back in a minute. And one minute. Okay, two sides cut. That's going to glue on there like that. This will give it a huge amount of strength. Right, I mark them port top. Let's use that one there. Give it a little wiggle. Not too much though. I might have to go and raid the uh, pin peg box in a minute. We're going to have pegs. Now it's oozing out. Right. I'm going to cut some cheeks and stick them on, and I'll see you after that. Cheers, guys. Okay, little cheeky bits made up. Put that on there. Give it a little wiggle. Have to go and get some more pegs. That will want final sand into shape. It's not far off. Get some pegs. I'll just peg that on, and I'll give it all the sand, and then we'll measure up for the bottom bit. But this is what we've got so far. Uh, Three plywood sides, one sixteen ply, uh, nine millimeter inside cow cheeks also to give that some strength. I've got the undercarriage block in. <clears throat> so a little update, guys. I've done both wings now. I've fitted the alons, I've hinged and removed. I've fitted the servos in little boxes. Um, this is the underside. And I'm going to, all the cables going to curl up like that. And I've got a cover to go on the top. Um, it's a slightly fancy shape, so you'll see that later. I won't show you yet. So I think I'm now ready to join the wings. I'll put the gussets in the corners of here and here. And I'll show you an nail on. I've got gusset in that corner. got my blocks in. Take the hinges. The hinges are... These great big um, caravan hinges, pin hinges. I'll probably trim them down because I don't like them sticking out. The servers are full size. I figured the wing can take it. So yeah, I think I'm ready to uh, join the wing. All right, I've spent um, half an hour just getting everything lined up and I'm happy with it. Um, I'll put Vaseline on the cable so it doesn't stick to the epoxy on the inside so I can pull them in and out still. Wings are peg, uh, pinned down, nothing can move. I've got dihedral set both sides equally. So it's just a matter now of popping out the dihedral braces, smearing them with epoxy, putting them back in and then pegging it up. And then that will be the wings joined on there. But while they're drying, I can cut some front and rear pieces. Can I just say a thank you to uh, the channel members um, for your support. It means a lot. It means I can buy this stuff and carry on the good work. So thanks again for being channel members. If you're not a channel member, take a look at the join button below. Uh, and if you'd like to support my um, building exploits, um, that would be brilliant. Let's get it in. Oh, it's going to be messy. I can see it. Okay, not too bad. It is oozing out at the bottom, but I'm going to have to clean it up afterwards. So I think I've got enough to do the other side. Get it down, get it in place, get it pinned up, pegged up. Right, pegs are off, it's all looking good. So I've cut the trailing edge, some gussets, and I found a little bit of a leading edge section, so I've cut that in there as well. Right, 
Okay, like I say, <clears throat> that's it now. So let's get some pins on and get things nice and square. All right, there we go. So we'll let that set off and come back to it very soon. Okay, we've had uh, a good hour for this to dry, if not longer actually, a couple of hours. Let's have a quick look, shall we? Exciting moment. Um, start with these. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. And here we have one wing. <laughs> Ooh. Um, I've unpinned the wings, giving them a light sand on the front and back and just put the dowels in the fuselage. So now the wing is banded on. Let me turn you to face the music. Look at that. There it is. And it actually all looks pretty, um, pretty well lined up, I've got to say. It looks quite nice. All right, I just um, epoxied this together and like it's nearly set. Okay, I've done a couple of little things off camera. Fitted the servos in back. I've connected two, so put two servos in. They're going to be rudder baiters for the V-tail. I've got some uh, flexible push rods here, which I made two little holes. They'll go snake up inside the fuselage, hardly visible, and come out over the top of the V-tail. So they're offered in, but not fitted yet. Um, I've just screwed the motor on and made a rather fancy hatch um, that's retained at the back by the wing and the front I've just got if I just give a little pull here a little pull here I'm not quite sure I've just put the motor in it's not so easy to pull there we go. just pull forward and up so I've just offered in the speed controller there that will go up here somewhere battery in there a pair of magnets either side there on those cheeks a pair of magnets on these cheeks so with the wing in place that will just go on there. I oh, just saw it pull itself back in. Just like that. So I don't think that looks too bad. Still got the undercarriage to make. And so, I mean, we're getting there now with the fuselage. It's looking quite smart. There is one thing I've yet to do, and that is make the fillets hold the bottom of the tailplane in place. Uh, I'll glue it in place and make those fillets afterwards. And I won't be gluing it in place till I've covered it. So that's ready to cover. Um, the elevators are ready to cover as well. I'm thinking I might stain the front half. Um, hope you enjoyed the wing video. I only uploaded it this afternoon. So um, not too many comments at the moment. Channel members get to see it first and uh, get to comment and then subscribers get it afterwards. Oh, by the way, so if you want to look at the join button, take a look. I'm putting a Grawpner receiver in this one. Uh, well, this will be back here somewhere, tucked away. Uh, here's a battery, by the way, this battery is Two thousand eight hundred, big pardons. Two thousand seven hundred zippy. Speed controller be up there against the side. Wires we tucked away, and then this one will. It could, if necessary, go all the way back there, uh, depending on the CG. But it's a massive amount of uh, adjustment there. I'm just going to put some Velcro on the back there. Put that right up there. Um, so I've got the draft going in there, going through F2, and we'll come out the top of the wing because it's going to be open for the pilot. Okie doke, little update for you. <laughs>